with Republican Congressman from Tennessee, Tim Burchett. The House Republicans' effort to impeach Secretary Mayorkas has failed today. Not all of your colleagues voting for it. Do you intend to hold the vote again? I suspect we will, ma'am. I think this was just an effort to put the votes on the board to see where we're at. Folks will go home and they'll hear from their constituents, and I suspect some of them will be very unhappy about this outcome. And I suspect there might be one or two clamoring to get that vote back up again. So we'll see. I, I suspect it'll come back again. Secretary Mayorkas has told us, as you know, that the border is fine, that it is functioning, that it's um, we're keeping people out. Yet in the last three years, we've had anywhere from eight to 10 million people have come over that border illegally. I don't know any shape, form, or fashion where that is a success. And the new bill that's coming from the Senate will allow up to 5,000 a day before it triggers them stopping the border. So, uh, so at 4,999 a day can come over the border and there will be no, no one stopping them. Well, so you, sorry, Congressman, but your own, uh, sorry for interrupting there, but your own Republican Senate, uh, your fellow party person, James Langford, who drafted that bill, has actually taken a point of exception with how some of your colleagues are describing that, that it's not allowing 5,000 people to cross the border before that threshold, that that security measure is triggered. It's 5,000 encounters before it must be triggered. And actually, the Homeland Security Secretary will have the power to shut the border after 4,000 encounters, not necessarily people crossing. But just talking about what happened but today. Let me, let me correct you on one thing. They sure. already have that power. We've already sent HR2 over to the Senate. And Chuck Schumer has tried not, has, for the last six months, has chosen not to do anything with it. So. 4,999 is okay. I mean, I don't know. That doesn't sound right. The people of Tennessee that I represent, we're overrun. We're overrun with fentanyl, with crime. It's just not, it's costing this country $400 billion a year to keep these people up. And, and that bipartisan uh, Senate bill, that those measures would have been triggered in December with those record numbers that you're talking about because the, the seven day average there was 9,743, so more than twice the point at which this measure would kick so, in. But, but so just 5, going. 5,000 is okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just quoting from the from the act here. I, I don't have an opinion on it myself, but just going yes. back to what happened today. I mean, three past Homeland Security secretaries, Republicans and Democrats and, and other critics have said that your charges of the secretary don't meet the constitutional threshold of high crimes and misdemeanors, that it's more about policy and perhaps the person that you need to have in the dock on that is the president, not the secretary. Well, the president is absent, as you well know, ma'am. Um, he claims today, as a matter of fact, he said we did, uh, uh, there is a problem at the border. And um, his press secretary was asked about that, and she was in a little bit of confusion over that over that answer. Uh, this president is, is an abject failure, ma'am. Uh, last three years, we've had, what, 10 million people over the border. It's costing us $400 billion a year to keep these people up. We've kicked... We've closed schools down to house these people. The people in New York, they put $53 million into credit cards to allow these folks to live for free while Americans are going without. It's uh, right is wrong and wrong is right. And really the blame, I think, clearly needs to be, we call it the uniparty, you can call it whatever, but it's, it's about bringing cheap labor into this country. Somebody works on your roof and falls off they're not going to probably. They're probably not going to sue you or go after you. They'll go to the emergency room and be taken care of as they should. But you and I, well, you won't. But I will. I'll pick up the tab for that. And that's what. And the the folks that are pushing this are our national chambers of commerce. They're the ones who've had their fingers in this pie for a long time. They've stopped any meaningful um, legislation that could. That, that could do something but about just on, this. On, on that point, Congressman, you're talking about meaningful legislation. A bipartisan bill was agreed in the Senate. Republicans in the Senate and Democrats were happy with that bill and everything was fine a few days ago. So why now is everything not okay with that bill? Well, the Republican leader in the Senate has pulled his support as did the Republicans. It wasn't. It wasn't agreed. It was, uh, the only Republican I know that was for it was the sponsor, and it was created in a, um, you know, in a in a room in a vacuum, 
with just the lobbyists and a few high-ranking people. And that's and that to me generally is never a good idea. I think you ought to have everybody there. And I think it's it's really just a case of portfolios over people. And that's what this is all about. It's about money, as it always is. It's not about doing what's right. It's about the big boys are going to have free and cheap labor, and it's shame on us for allowing that. And also, one of the things that, that hurts me most as a human is the 100,000 children that are being sold into who knows what. Nobody knows where they are. These cartels are selling these children for the sex traffic and other things. And okay, and there, there is there is a discussion to to be had about the the cartels indeed in South America. Unfortunately, we are out of time at this point. Um, I do want to thank you, Congressman Tim Burchett, for joining us on BBC News. Thank you very much for your time, ma'am. It's been my pleasure. Thank you so much.